Hello, I'm Reza Red from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the first thing you need to know about passing exam PL300 Power BI exam, which is connecting to data sources and changing the settings for that data sources. Let's see uh, how this is. So if you wish to pass a PL300 exam, which is a basic Power BI exam by Microsoft, one of the syllabuses of this exam is uh, being able to identify data sources, connecting to data sources, and changing the settings of data sources. Um, depends on where you get data from, you might have different data sources. For example, sometimes you get data uh, like budget information from an Excel file. Sometimes you have a SQL Server database that you get data from, like a data warehouse. Sometimes, however, it's an operational system source that uh, you do not have access to the source data. So you have to either find where the data source is stored, like a database behind the scene connection to that, or look for an API that probably that provider gives you so that you can connect to it and get data from it, or export that data as a CSV or text file or Excel file and then connect to it. No matter what method you use for that connection, Power BI has a lot of different options to connect to different data sources. There are over 140 data sources that Power BI can connect to it. Um, um, and no matter which data source you want to use, always this starts with get data in Power BI desktop. So you have uh, you either have the say, data source that you want to connect to it in these existing data sources, um, most common data sources, or if, if it is not there, you'll just click on more. And here you will see all types of data sources that you can connect to it from Power BI, which is categorized in different um, sections such as file data sources, databases, Azure data sources, online services, and so on. Uh, then when you connect to a data source, normally you provide a couple of things. First is that um, how to connect to that source. For example, if it is an Excel file, you provide the path for that Excel file. If it is a database, um, like a SQL Server database, then you provide a server uh, information such as what is the server address, the database. Some of the data sources also give you this option to connect as import or direct query mode, which will which, which I will talk about it in another video. Um, so let's say you provide the data source um, details like the server address or database. Then the next step depends again on the data source would be credentials. Uh, to connect to that data source. For example, if you are connecting to a SQL Server database, you need to have a username and password to connect to that. So that is the place that you go and set up that uh, credentials. Remember that this credentials is stored in a different place than the data source details itself. The data source details, such as the server name, the database name, is stored as part of the PBIX file. The credentials, however, is stored separately on your machine, meaning that if I uh, save this PBIX file and send it to someone else, they can open the file, they will be able to see that this file is using this data, this SQL Server database as a source, but they cannot get that data refreshed if they do not have the credentials to, to connect to it. That is why the credentials is saved separately. And same thing also happens when you publish from Power BI desktop to the service, you have to go and set up the credentials over there as well. You can change these credentials as well, which is what I'm going to talk about. So after you do that connection details and setting, and then you'll see the list of data sources to get data from. Now I'm just going to show you uh, one existing um, connections that I have. Uh, you'll see the list of databases or like if it's Excel sheet, different sheets, and then you can go and get data from uh, the tables that you want by selecting them and then load or transform data. So that is how the connection to the data source works. Now, if you want to change this connection, how that change works, let's say you have created the connection, now you want to change it. And that change can happen um, in two, three different styles. One is you want to change that file um, from this folder to another folder. Like it's the same Excel file, but it's now in a different address. Another thing is that uh, from this SQL Server database, you want to connect it to another SQL Server database in another server. How you can do these changes? You can do that in Power BI Desktop using uh, the Home tab under Transform Data Data Source Settings. That is one place to do that. 
also in Power Query Editor, you can do that using data source settings under the Home tab. So no matter which way you use to connect to that data source settings, data source settings will show you the list of all data sources you have in your current file. And if you select global permission, it would be all the data sources that you have connected in your system. Normally we don't use that, we use this. All the data sources we connected in this file. Then you select the data source that you want to change it. If you want to change the path, the URL, the server name, anything like that, that is where you go and choose change source. So here I can choose change source and I can choose a different um, database server or a different database. But if it's the same database, I want to just change the credentials. When I click on it, I'll go to edit permission, which gives me the ability to find the credentials parts of it, which can I can click on edit and change it. Or if I want to clear the permission, I can clear the permission and re-enter it again. That is how I would change uh, the credentials or I would change the source. Sometimes it's the same source, it's the same credentials, but for example, you want to change it to a different database table. That is the change that you need to do in the navigation step in Power Query. Uh, to do that, first you have to go to the Power Query Editor from Home tab, Transform Data. That will get you to the Power Query Editor, which would be something like this. In the Power Query Editor, you select the table and then um, depends on the table and data source, of course, uh, you, may have, you may have this option, which is a navigation step, and that navigation step has a setting option in it, which you can click on it and choose a different database. Or alternatively, you can see that formula bar when you are in navigation step and change it over there. So any of these methods would help you to change the data source setting of your Power BI report. I hope this helps you in uh, getting your PL300 exam done. Uh, I will have more of these videos soon. If you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.